Hello everybody, and I have some breaking news for you that regards WWE. So, earlier today, the news broke that the UFC and WWE will team up to form a $21.4 billion sports entertainment company. Um, I have the article here, and I won't read everything word for word, but I'll sort of paraphrase. So WWE and the company that runs UFC will combine to create the $21.4 billion entertainment company. Um, it will be a new publicly traded company. We have yet to be told what the name is. The Endeavor Group's holding will have 50% one, well, 51% of controlling interest in the new company. WWE shareholders will have a 49% stake, so that way it's pretty close to being even. There will also be a board that has 11 members, six being appointed by the Endeavor Group Holdings, Inc., and the other five will be appointed by WWE. We don't know what is going to happen as far as they haven't announced a new company. We don't know if the, the events for WWE is to be streamed on Peacock. There's no word yet on that as far as I see in this article. So for now, I would assume that they will continue to host the premium live events or the traditional pay-per-view, whatever you want to call it, on Peacock Network. So I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen there, but I really can't make a judgment yet as far as like how this is all going to play out. If it's a good or bad thing, I think it has potential to be good, but it's kind of in a gray area as far as like what's going to happen. I have complete confidence though in Triple H with the creative stuff. And I think it could go well. Nick Khan will be the president for WWE. And we'll see what happens. It should be interesting. It's kind of crazy. The McMahon family have had the company for a long time. I was kind of hoping that it was going to get passed down to Triple H and Stephanie. But, you know, can't really blame them for doing this. We'll see how it all plays out in the coming months. But just wanted to break that news to you guys. WWE will still be doing this, you know, their big shows and everything. It's just, it's going to be together as one big sports entertainment company. We still have other wrestling companies. So there's still competition, which means WWE will still be putting out the best content that it possibly can. And I think that this could be a good thing, but I will do a follow-up once we learn more and hope that uh, it all works out for the best.